Welcome to Wake Up America. I am Paula Cassell. New polling has shown that more than half of the nation thinks that President Obama is doing a terrible job. Much of his presidency has been a sellout of the American people by working on two free trade agreements, continuing to engage in foreign wars that have depleted us of the resources we need to restore our nation, and by not fighting back against China's economic war. Up next is a special report on how this lame duck session can take away our sovereignty. Even though President Obama is unpopular, he still knows that he must do something to pay back the many corporate sponsors who financed his campaign. To do this, he must get the Trans-Pacific Partnership passed as soon as possible. This may be why President Obama is waiting until the end of the year to bring up Fast Track Trade Authority. Fast Track is an unconstitutional grant of power to the presidency which nearly cuts Congress entirely out of trade negotiations, allowing the president to effectively legislate from the executive branch. Support for it was low before and the idea was crushed. This may not be the case in December when many members of Congress who haven't been re-elected don't have to listen to their constituents anymore. After the midterm general election, they will be facing the prospect of unemployment, looking to cozy up to corporations who might find them an important position somewhere. A displaced representative might be willing to do all sorts of things to curry favor with someone who can lift their hopes of their future career. A sitting president and his corporate backers are in a good position to take advantage of and even abuse this situation. We must be aware that although Fast Track was defeated earlier this year, before it came to a vote, it will definitely return. Fast Track is a grant of power to an office filled by men who desire that power. It or something like it will always be coveted by presidents especially presidents whose campaigns were funded by multinational corporations whose interests can be furthered by fast-track trade authority. This November, we must remember that fast-track is going to come back during the lame duck session and must be defeated once again. As weak as our nation is, we cannot afford any more damage of the sort that fast-track can lead to. Call your representatives and make sure they know how you feel.